The development of military capacity of our officers is crucial to improve operational efficiency and eventually the attainment of our high level statements such as the Harambe Prosperity Plans, the National Development Plans, and Vision 2030. This will in turn help Namibia to fulfill her international obligations wherever required. You don't only have obligations in Namibia, you have obligation in SADC, obligation in African Union. As members of the United Nations, we have obligations wherever is required on our, con on our continent and in the world. The senior command and staff course commenced in January with senior officers, inclusive of those from the NDF, NAMPOL, the Namibia Correctional Services, and the Namibia Central Intelligence Services. They were joined by senior ranking officers from Zambia and Kenya, a collaboration which the president says is commendable in the exchange of ideas and military doctrines. The officers were trained in a variety of military exercises, strategic leadership, international security, joint warfare planning, and multinational capabilities, among others. I would like to express my gratitude and appreciation for the support rendered by various stakeholders who supported the course as guest presenters and lecturers, notably the Office of the United Nations Representative, African Union Headquarters, the SADE Combined Joint African Exercise, hosted by the Republic of South Africa, with Namibia's first time full participation, local academic institutions, and various offices, ministries, and agencies that contributed immensely to ensure that the training enhanced the knowledge, the skills, and the attitude of our officers. The structural theory learning of the course was bridged with practical sessions in the field, including various study tours. I'm confident that our objective to produce robust military officers with great sound knowledge on how the security clusters contribute to our nation and international obligations were met. Our course was also remembered for being the first to conduct combined joint African ex ex exercise codenamed Exercise Uhuru with other SADC sister colleges. In the same vein, the course conducted a geopolitical study to, uh, to the Republic of Angola and the Republic of, Republic of Kenya, respectively, under the theme, Understanding Regional Security, Socioeconomic Development, and Enhancing Cordial Relations. The insight gained during this tour will undoubtedly enhance our future performance in line with upholding the highest honor of our, of our forces. The senior command and staff course initially commenced with 51 officers, however, only 30 managed to complete it.